Court Star here, and I'm here to bring you a grocery haul. So, I moved here to Bangkok expecting abundance of organic fruits, organic vegetables. Come to find out that a lot of this stuff is imported, pesticide crazy, GMO'd, and um, you know, although there's lots of fresh stuff on the street, you kind of have to be a little weary. You're not quite sure what you're getting yourself into. So, I joined a program called the CSA Munchie Box by Oh, I might be saying this wrong, right? Tong Farms. And the great thing about it is that they have farmers from all over and they gather their produce, put it in a box, and deliver it right to your door. So there's two things I really like about it. Number one, I get organic produce right to my door, which is freaking awesome, especially when you live in a big city and lugging around groceries and going to five different grocery stores is just not fun. And number two, I am getting to try new food which I really, really love because if you're like me, you probably go to the grocery store and you buy the same things over and over and over again and you never really try anything new unless maybe you found a recipe that sounded good, but otherwise you kind of stick to what you know, stick to what you like. So for me to get out and try new things is really exciting for me and I've been doing that and kind of made it a point this month to do that. But anyways, I can rant on forever, but let's get started with the CAC Munchie Box. Ugh, it's heavy. So this is the box that it comes, like this, right to my door. Awesome. And um, every week there's pretty much something different. Uh, the box costs 2,000 baht for four weeks, which is roughly 16 US a week, which is really good if you consider the fact I'm getting all organic produce. I'm getting a full box full, so let's dive in. Um, they gave me bananas this week, which I don't like to eat a lot of bananas, but, um, you know, sometimes they're kind of nice to put in the freezer when they're really ripe and eat them when I'm craving candy or something sweet, but I tend not to eat a lot of bananas, but these are good for my husband. They're good little snacks to have around. They also gave me passion fruits. So I've actually never had a passion fruit. I think I've had passion fruit juice, but never the actual fruit. Um, so I'm really excited to try these. I haven't tried them yet. So. You'll have to check back to my blog and find out what I thought of them. Next, they gave me more pumpkin, which I like that they only give me a half of a small one because I can eat an entire pumpkin in one sitting. And um, yeah, sometimes that's not so good. <laughs> I also got a crap load of chestnuts, which I almost actually like sliced my finger and had to um, chopped off my nail. You can just stick them all in a big thing and just boil them. Thank God, because I probably would have cut off a freaking finger. So I'm really happy to find I could just boil them and then roast them. Uh, next, I got more Jerusalem artichokes. So the first week I signed up, I tried these sun chokes and they look really, really funky. They kind of look like ginger, right? But they're actually sunchoke, Jerusalem artichoke. They're all organic. It's a root. It's a nightshade. So um, these are great paired with uh, some more vegetables. Um, they're more of the carby type of vegetable. But they're great as alternative to potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, brown rice, or something like that. These are great. And they're awesome. You just throw them. You just clean them really, really well with the sponge. And because they're kind of dirty because they're from the ground. And then you put some lemon and I put a little coconut oil and pepper and uh, sea salt. Oh, they're amazing. Like, they look disgusting. <laughs> they look really funky, right? They kind of look like bones. Right? Is that what it looks like? It kind of looks like a bone. Perfect for Halloween, right? You could, like, lay these out and people would be like, ooh, it's bones. But anyways, yeah, you just roast them in the oven. There's a recipe on my blog that um, you can check out and... They're fantastic. I'm going to try to make soup with them this week, I think, because I saw a recipe online. And then we have the shroomage. I'm not going to take them out because they're kind of dirty. But this is the shroomage. So these are called... Um, don't quote me on this. Inkotake mushrooms. Inkotake mushroom. So mushrooms are a great source of protein for vegans and vegetarians. They're great in stir fries. And I got these last week in my box, and I kind of use them as like a noodley 
dish. So I did um, the mushrooms with a bunch of different vegetables, I had a little amino, and I used my cauliflower and made rice um, with my food processor, which you can find that recipe on my blog too. But um, it was fantastic. It was like a little stir fry, but it felt like it had noodles in it because of the texture of the mushrooms. But they were mushrooms, so it was kind of like a low carb situation with lots of vegetables. All right, and then you get this like huge bag of lettuce, which is awesome because you know I make salads, I eat greens at every meal, so I'll either throw them in my smoothie or I'll have them as like my base for a salad. Um, or I pretty much will cook protein and just put it on top of this just to make sure I'm getting my greens every day. Um, I don't have a cold pressed juicer out here, so I haven't been juicing that much, but. I'm gonna try. So there's like all different kinds of lettuce in here. And then at the very bottom is some bok choy, which is another great thing to add to your stir fries. There's a lot of great benefits on that. You can check that out on my blog. Uh, ah, and I totally forgot my zucchini at the bottom. So I got some green zucchinis. There's another one in there, but it's a little wet. Um, zucchinis are great to add to salads, they're great to add to stir fries, and they make noodles. I don't know if you've ever had zucchini noodles, but they're incredible. They just soak up all the flavor. Or you can roast them, which is also great. So you can roast them with a Jerusalem artichoke and um, create like a little soup or something after they're roasted. I don't know. I'm about to get creative with this box, and I'm really excited about it. If you want more information, check out the links below. I have a link to the Munchie Box. Um, you know, let them know I sent you Courtney Bentley because if I send so many of you, I get some free range eggs, which if you know me right now and you've been following me on Instagram is... That has been my protein source in my smoothies instead of having the artificial crap filled with chemicals and all the protein powders and all that. I've been using straight eggs, egg whites, baby. That's what I've been using. Um, and if you want to know about my diet plan, I just launched it. I'm so excited. It's uh, That link's below. It's stardietplan.com. Um, I would love to know what you got this week at the grocery store, and I have a goal for you, and that is to try a new vegetable or fruit this week. Add it to your daily diet, Google it, look for recipes, try new things. I'm telling you, it's the best way to discover new vegetables, and you know, it makes it so much easier to get those five a day when you're trying different types of vegetables and not just sticking to your carrots, celery, cherry tomatoes. Try something new. Get out there. Try something new. They have tons of stuff at farmers markets. And, um, you know, just Google how to get organic food to my doorstep because that's just freaking amazing. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time on Star Systems channel.